Hey! Sneaky nose back in the house again today. Back in the house, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. In my house. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to install some games in mine, okay? Well, specifically in Plan X. Now, I was going to do the new World of Tanks. But, obviously, Steve wet the bed this morning. And just as I was about to record it, he'd already uploaded a video. So he must have got up about 3 o'clock, I think. Or 4 o'clock. So, no, 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 no. So I'm not going to install World of Tanks. We're going to install War Thunder in Linux via Wine Stroke Play on Linux, okay? Really easy to do, really simple. There's no easy way to like World of Tanks, okay? But I'm going to show you how to install War Thunder. Blah, 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 blah. But thir thirst, thirst, yeah, I'm a bit thirsty. First, <clears throat> what we need to do is download, so let's say using Ubuntu, but you can get it for any distribution. The latest version of Play on Linux here, so it's 412. So we'll say it's uh, we'll say we're doing Ubuntu. Now you can either type in the following commands, okay, yes, do them, or you can just download the dev file. Whichever you want to do, whichever floats your boat, baby, yes. And once you've done that, install it, and it'll all be installed for you. Right, next, we want to go to War Thunder, and you want to download the game, okay? You can download it for free, don't cost you to download. It's only a really small download because all the game comes afterwards when you're actually installing it. It's around about 4 to 5 gig, so it's a rather large game. Not as big as World of Warcraft, obviously, but hey, hunkily of the dory, that's all you have to do, right? So, if I close the windows, I'm going to close the tabs. If I go to my file manager, I'm going to go to downloads, I'm going to open it. I'm in LXE, LXLE still here. Here you see I've downloaded Play on Linux and I've installed the dev file. This is just for demonstration purposes because I've already got it installed on my other machine, so I don't want to do it again, do I? And this is the War Thunder launcher, okay? There's the bits you're on there. So anyway, what do we do first? I hear you cry. Yeah, don't cry, baby, don't cry. If we go to games, <clears throat> and then we'll go to Play on Linux. There we go. It opens up for us. Look, hello, Play on Linux. How are you? Let me have a quick drink in a second. What are you first today? Hmm. Right, first we want to go to <clears throat> Tools and Manage Wine Versions. Now, in this version of Play Linux, you can use all different wine versions. Now, you can use... One version of one that definitely, 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 definitely works. It's quite an old one. is 1.6 Release Candidate 3. <clears throat> but we're going to try 1.7.5, which is the latest and greatest. And all you do, you click on it, and you go like that. And what it will do, it will install that version of wine in Play on Linux. Okay, so we click on Next. We'll just wait for it to download. 28 megabytes, rather large. Now, I've had quite a lot of success with some new games in this, so yeah, Sneaky Boy's very happy. Obviously, it's still Steam, but some of these games don't want to go on Steam. For the simple reason, they run on a micro payment system. The game's free to play, free to install, but if you want to get some extras or you want extra points and money and stuff like that, they like you to have a premium account, which I suppose World of Tanks is about six quid for a fortnight or so. War Thunder, you can work out about £3 odd for a week or something like that. They work out about the same, whatever one you play, it's just different amounts of different things. Or what I do, because I don't play every single day, I just buy a day at a time in War Thunder because I don't get to play it all the time. Anyway, that version of Wine is now installed, and that's the one we're going to use, okay? We won't install that one just yet. Right, next, you want to download your War Thunder and download. We've already done that, haven't we? Well, I have anyway. Now we want to configure, okay? So you click on configure and we're going to make it new. We'll just wait, it does a bit of a new. It's going to create a virtual drive for us. So we click on next. We want to use 175, okay? So that's next. What are we going to call it? We're going to call it and click on next. Now the drive is being created, 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 created. Of course we want Mono, so I've installed it. You may get some different uh, errors here, but it should be all hunky-dory, no problem really. Mm. By the way, it's lovely, fresh, clean water today. Yeah, it really, really is. Now, you should be able to get War Thunder to play on a machine like this. this is the dual core, but you will need a decent graphics card and the proprietary drivers to go with it. That's easy to piece it though. You should know how to do that, okay? You should. I don't really want to actually do a video doing that, really. But hey, if we have to, we have to, don't we? Anyway, we're just waiting for the virtual drive to finish creating. Oh, and we're done. 
So, we click on War Thunder. Uh, yes, 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 that's lovely. We want to go to Display first, I think. We want to enable GLS support. So we're going to enable it. Now, you need to know your video memory size. Now, this is an old card, okay? So it, probably, it, we, it won't run War Thunder correctly. N not now, anyway. Because it's only 512 rem. But that's what it wants to know, okay? Yeah, that's what it wants to know. Okay. So that's that done. In general, we don't really need to do anything there. Under wine, do we want to configure wine? Well, we could do, we? we could do. Should we do that? Yeah, go ahead. We can configure wine. Let's click on that. Just making sure it's all hunkily of the dory. Right, we want to go to graphics. And here you want to put in your display size. So you want to emulate a virtual desktop and you put in the size of your display. So the one I'm here here is 1920. Number key, 1920. 1080 okay we go back and we're going to apply that and we're going to okay that and that's that done okay we've done display already so that's all hunky dory now we go to miscellaneous now we want to run that exe file which is the war thunder installer here okay so we click run that exe file and there it is we click open okay now in theory things should start happening like this yeah baby yeah we click on ok because that's the English language we got then next yeah 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 we can click on that yeah 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 we can click on that yeah 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 we can, yeah let's do that and install now it's installed that little doofus here and finish now in the theory it should come up and start downloading for us okay Ooh. right 6.1 gigabytes at once which is a rather large amount. Now, on my speed I got here, I got 2.4, I guess. So basically, that's going to take me around about 40 minutes. And basically, that's all you do. Yeah, that's all you do. And you wait for it to download, run the game. Obviously, if you've got an older machine, you're going to want to set the graphics at low, okay? Otherwise, you ain't got no frames again. I do recommend at least one gig for your video memory. Yeah, that's done. Anyway. That's all you have to do. Yeah. So I'm going to stop that right there and we'll carry on a bit later. Yeah.